In this video, I'm going to show you how to join or combine two adjacent curtain panels. So in my project here, I have just a single piece of curtain wall. Now I do have other videos which explain how to build up uh, a curtain wall like this from scratch. Say, so, but the purpose of this particular video is just to show you how once you've got a curtain wall to combine adjacent panels. So if we zoom in a little, we can see we've got the overall curtain wall. So if I hover, you'll see the, the blue bounding box there. We've also got grid lines applied. Now the grid lines then divide the overall piece of wall into separate curtain panels. So if I use the tab key, you can, should be able to make out there the blue box uh, surrounding the edge of that particular curtain panel. So you can see on our wall, we've got a number of curtain panels and we've also got mullions applied to where the curtain grid is. So what if, for example, we want to combine, let's say, this panel here with this one into a single curtain panel? To do so, first of all, let's delete the segment of mullion. So you can see when that highlights in blue that the, the mullions, even though they're on a continuous grid line, are split into separate segments. So let's just take that one, select it, hit the delete key. So the mullion segment has gone now and what we're left with is still two curtain panels side by side and the curtain grid line which you can see there highlighting when I hover over it. So the next thing you need to do, or well, the final thing you need to do to actually combine these two panels is simply remove a segment of the grid line. So if you go ahead and click to select the curtain grid line. So the whole grid line is selected now. Now if you look up on the ribbon, you have an option there to add and remove segments from the grid line. So let's click on that. Zoom back in. Now I'm going to hover over. Now this is one of the, the very few times in Revit where when you go to select the item you're interested in, i.e. this particular segment of grid line, it doesn't give you any indication that it's actually going to pick it. You just have to trust that if you hover your cursor over and left click, it actually removes that segment. Now the line is still there at the moment because the whole remaining grid line is still selected. All I need to do is just deselect that by clicking anywhere else. And you can see We've got rid of the grid line segment in that position, and that has the effect of combining the adjacent panels. And I can confirm that by just hovering over the edge there, using the tab key to cycle through. And you can see now I can, I'm able to select the curtain panel. Let's select it, and let's just change that one to a solid panel. So that's how you combine adjacent curtain panels. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF eBooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.